although it might not look like it, we are on our way to milk some cows and ride some tractors. We are about to go and bottle some special milk. We can't wait. It's very seasonal. We'll give you that hint. And you know that we're basics and we love it. Yes. Or if you've watched Emily in Paris, you know that we're ringards and love it. Garde. Before we go into bottle, there's an incredible store that has a mixture of fresh fruit, vegetables, different products that we're going to show you. Unreal. All of the products are from Ontario farmers or producers and they look amazing. Off to bottle some milk. We have to put on our gloves too. But honestly, I look like East Brook. <laughs> you do. I'm first to through. You do. It's quite a look on you, Elena. Yeah. I, I think I might continue with this. I think so too. <laughs> Crunk the lever. Pull the lever. Crunk. Roll the lever. This is the first time we've ever been dressed appropriately for our activity. And then we're going in. Oh my gosh, so excited. So we're just in here with some cows hanging out. I think we've got a new friend in between the two of us. Hello. Hello to you. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute and so friendly, very social. And yeah, I think I think we might need a new a new pet. <laughs> <laughs> and these cows like to sit on the sand because it keeps them warm. Look, look, Elena. Oh, but somebody wants their moment on, on screen. The sand keeps them warm and fights off any bacteria because it is antibacterial, which is so interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the boat that they came over on, they were sponsored on a farm in Thornton, which is about a half an hour from here. And this is their last photo in Holland. This is the shipping container with all their belongings. And then in 1956, they bought this plot of land that we farm today. And Opa bought his very first cow, and her name was Maggie, um, and that's her here. And so whenever he bought her, she was the very first cow, and he started milking her, and then um, all the cows that we have today that have the letter M as their first name, and the initial in their name, actually date back to Thankfully, Maggie. Thankfully, Maggie was an A2H A2 producing cow. So it was very easy to start making A2 milk because we already had the genotyping in our herd. So A2 milk is great for people who have like milk sensitivity. So often you hear someone who says, I'm allergic to milk, but I can drink buffalo, sheep, goat, milk, or cheeses. And so it's actually a different protein. So when you go to the barn, you're going to see the cows that make this milk. Um, but we actually genetically tested them. So just like Ancestry.ca, um, we took actually hair samples and then got them analyzed. And you can see them on our website. Uh, you can see all of the different um, genotyping of those cows. And so those cows only make A2A2 A2 proteins. It's a lot easier for our bodies to digest. And so we found a ton of people that haven't been able to drink milk before are now drinking milk, and that's pretty exciting. Ever. I'm so curious to try this A2 milk. It's so interesting. I don't know how it's possible. I don't. I still don't really get it. We asked the woman who owns the farm if she can taste the difference between A2 milk and regular milk, and she said no. So I can assure you that we, we will, will not. not be able to. <laughs> <laughs> now, before our fingers freeze off, 
we are going to turn this off and walk very quickly back to the farmhouse. We're about to try our pumpkin spice milk. Literally could not be more excited. This is the moment of truth. Do you shake it? Probably we should, we should shake. So maybe if we shake it around, it will be good. Shakey, shake, shake, shake. Okay, now the moment of truth, the part fruits, two. The fruits of our labor. Oh, oh my, my god. god, that's oh, insane. This is the best thing ever. Oh my god, this is actually the best pumpkin spice seasoning I've ever best had in my life. Best pumpkin spice, spice thing, period. Oh my god. What is the blend that is in this milk? Because this is the best pumpkin spice, period. Give me a funnel, because I want to go right to the cows. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's revolting, <laughs> but I understand mm -hmm. the sentiment and I agree. <laughs> Ew, David. Enough talking about how good it is because it's just going to make you jealous. <laughs> now we're going off to a very special place to do something that we really thoroughly enjoy. Eating. We just pulled up to the Rosemont General Store and we're going to start our tour. Tasting, probably tasting tour. So they have an insane amount of freshly baked goods that they make in house that we are going to taste test. Yum, yum, yum. Mask time, see you We are about to make some pizza, but we learned of a trick to make the pizza just a little bit more delicious. So they take this hot sauce that they make in store and squirt it into the pizza dough before it gets baked. So you get a little hint of heat. So excited to make it. My question, yes or no pineapple on pizza? All day long. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we're with you. 100% yeah. with you. My wife, no. She yeah. doesn't like cooked fruit. Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I eat it when I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> So we make it into a disc and we, we're not going to, you can see the other air popping out. Mm -hmm. We're just making sure the air is flattened down inside a little bit. So we hand stretch every dough and that helps to keep the crust risable. I don't think that's Rather word. than rolling up? Yeah, yeah. rather than rolling. We have a rolling pin if right. we run into some trouble. <laughs> we make our own pizza sauce. So these are these are Italian tomatoes all together. Yummy. Um, really, really good tomatoes and we just blitz it with some basil and salt. Yum. So it's, there's no, we don't cook it, it's, it's a fresh tomato sauce. Yeah, you just sort of don't blink. Just oh, we've tried. For it. Yeah. So it'll take uh, about five minutes overall. So that bliss, yeah, that blistering is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, we're outside and ready to try our pizza. It looks so good. So good. And if you don't like anchovies, we don't really get that. We don't understand. <laughs> to take our first bite. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is incredible. Oh wow, so salty. But like crust, anchovy salty, so it's like the best salty. The crust is so good. Oh my God, there's somebody there. <laughs> Smelling here is out of control. Unreal. It's like we can't figure out what we're smelling, but it smells amazing. It's like a combination of sweet and savory pies, and it really tickles the nose buds and taste buds. Oh, hopefully soon. <laughs> Hi, coming.
coming at you from three feet now because we're crouching <laughs> down. <laughs> we're ready to try our chickens. Yep. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. So tender. So there's sumac, salt, salt pepper, and uh, fresh thyme. That sumac really does come out. It's yeah. So good. It's so good. Oh my god. Wow. It's like you bite into it and it just breaks in your mouth. That's one so juicy. very good chicken. So juicy. Some might say finger looking good. But you can't say that now. So don't lick your fingers, but <laughs> it is that good. We're just walking around outside the garden of the Globe restaurant and it is so pretty here. So maybe by accident, maybe on purpose, you'll never know. We planned our trip to Rosemont to be here on a Friday to have the special chicken dinner, which you just saw. And let me tell you, it is so worth it. You get a rotisserie chicken, you get it with vegetables, mashed potatoes. Depending. Two vegetables, actually. That chicken was actually like the best rotisserie chicken I have ever had. We don't like it to be so juicy that we're like, oh, is it cooked or not? But we also don't like it so dry that we're choking. So this was so juicy, so tender, no knife needed. It was chef's kiss, that wasn't the right way. Chef's kiss, perfection. And now we're on the lookout for a special new pet, a peacock. To the untrained eye, I look like a total idiot. You do, in fact. Ah, but it's actually a seduction technique known as peacocking. The peacocks, look at these little guys, so cute. So the mom and dad have lived here for about 10 years or so probably. Um, and every year they have a couple babies. And we either sort of let people get them for a donation to the local hospital, um, or they go to someone's home. Are you peacocking? We just left Rosemont and now we are on our way to see another very, very cool process. We're about to see one of the only independent flour mills in, I don't know if it's in Canada, in North Ontario. America, I'm not sure, but we're about to learn about the process and find out more information. So you will be too. We just got to K2 milling and we're about to go inside. So I'll put my mask on and we'll see you there. So far we've picked up blueberry flour and cinnamon. The blueberry flour is actually made with the skins of the blueberries so it gives color and actually flavor too. We were told that these specially ground flours actually have flavor rather than just serve as providing structure to baked goods so we're definitely going to load up on that and are quite excited to try the goods. We've also been told that because it's not industrial in the way that they mill the flour, a lot of people who have been gluten free can actually eat this sort of flour. It's a nice change because it's not like if you look for a specific gluten-free option, you can actually eat the regular flour. That was the perfect wrap to the most perfect day. It really was, and now we have lots of ingredients and purchases that we have to taste test, so we're gonna have to go. <laughs> Let us know if there's somewhere that you want us to visit, anywhere that you recommend, and we will be sure to make our own little trip out of it. See ya. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel to see more of us. Are you following us on Instagram at AlanaXAliza? And if you're not, you should. We upload new videos every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell.